microphones to go ahead and put them on vibrate or turn them off. Uh, we'll start with questions in English first. Roger, so this uh, very defining Roger Federer three slam finals and one semifinal. How do you comment on it? Did you write some of that stuff or no? <laughs> hope not. <laughs> hope not for you, but no, I mean, look, um, of course I'm happy to be through to another Grand Slam final. You know, it's been an incredible run at slams lately, and uh, this was a big match, you know. I knew it from when I saw the draw. If we both get to the semis, this was a huge match, you know, for the, such to speak, the number two ranking a little bit. You know, he's been playing very well in, uh, in hard court for the last one and a half years, you know, and I knew it was always going to be difficult, so I'm very happy with the, with the result, obviously. You hit the first serve of the ball game on the tee. You seem to have a fondness for that spot. Well, I mean, it depends on... I mean, I did serve it well, yeah, no doubt, but I think it's important to have variation and to be able to hit all four corners on, on the court. That's what, you know, great servers do, and then, of course, it's important to choose the right ones when you have to. And uh, I think my serve got me out of trouble a few times today. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's hard to break um, against the wind, you know. I mean, it's basically impossible. So I knew that, and it was just important to really be very concentrated against the wind, you know. So you serve pretty good. Was that your best serving in a long time? I thought I actually served very well throughout the tournament already. I mean, of course, Novak's a different caliber of return player. So I always expect more balls to come back from him, you know, um, especially what I saw, how easily returned Andy. You expect him to return me even more easily because, you know, I don't have the power that Andy has, but I got maybe a little bit more variety. I can, you know, um, sort of hide my serve better, you know, so it's, it's harder for him to read and that doesn't give him the confidence from the baseline then. Cindy? Roger, when was the last time you played a set as cleanly as you played the first set today? Probably in uh, Toronto. In the first set, I played very well there as well. You know, hit winners all the way through. But uh, it was important, you know, to stay stay grounded. You know, because I knew the tough times were were going to arrive, and it's exactly what happened in the second set. You know, you you don't hit your first serves like you, you, maybe you do usually, or uh, the way I was hitting them in the in the first set. I knew I was always going to get in trouble against uh, in, in, against such a good player like Novak. Roger, um, especially after being down five four in that third set. You seem to break more than just Novak's serve, also the spirit, with a lot of help from the crowd. Do the ovations like that mean more to you this year, given some of the troubles you've had this season? Yeah, I mean, I said it from the start, you know, it would be great um, if I could do get, you know, a lot of fan support, you know, but uh, I don't count on it because I'm I'm no American, but I feel a little bit New Yorker right now, you know, so it does feel, does feel great, you know, and uh, I definitely appreciate, you know, the you know, the effort from the fans putting, you know, into supporting me and pushing me forward, and I definitely feel it's helped me throughout this event, you know, and I uh, had some tough moments against Andreev again today, and uh, they were definitely on my side, which is which is obviously very nice for me. Well, Roger, given the expectations you have of yourself and everybody has of you, now that you're in your third straight slam final, how would you describe your year? Let's wait another day, and then I'll answer that question. How will you describe it if you win at the end of that next <laughs> You can't wait, huh? You can't wait. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Give me 35 hours and <laughs> then we'll sit down with, uh, with something to drink and I'll tell you everything. <laughs> Roger, uh, out on court, you mentioned that it would be nice if you played Rafa again. He's a big trouble now. But yeah. is, is your thinking on that just... It's a great rivalry. It's good for tennis. It's if you want to, if you want to be the best. Um, no, I mean, I look after what we went through at Wimbledon and uh, you know in the past, uh, you know in Paris and all the tough matches we've had, you know over the years. It's just it's always nice to play against him, you know, even though I have a losing record against him. Uh, I mean, I'd like to play Andy as well, but obviously, you know, he's hasn't been as good as Rafa for the past years, you know, but I'm sure he will be, you know, at the top of the game for a very long time because I always thought Andy has incredible talent, you know, and he's a great player, so um, I wouldn't be surprised if Andy, you know, would beat uh, beat Rafa, but just uh, I think the meaning would be more to play against Rafa here at the Open, you know, just, uh, but we'll see what happens still, it's not over. Can you identify, say, a key, there a key moment in this match, the turning point? <coughs> 
Well, I think the way I played in the first set, that was a key moment, you know, get the first set, you know. I had the feeling he was looking a little bit weary, a little tired, you know, and uh, I knew that if, uh, uh, like what the other person said, I, I think I broke his will as well when I uh, I got this, the third set, you know, and I think he let his hang, ha you know, let it hang a little bit, and I knew if I could just play really tough now and maybe all of a sudden play my best again with a lead, you know, I, I knew I could get it in four, you know, for a while it was, it was almost looking like I was going to win in three, actually. So there was a couple of key moments, and I would think the end of the third and, and just the entire first set. Roger, a lot of people are... Sorry, oh, I'm sorry. Roger said the other day that you are becoming more emotional, you are showing more of your true face out in the court. And seeing your reaction to, uh, today after, after the win, it looks like the, you, you, there is uh, pressure on you to prove to people that you're still there. Could you dispute that or... I mean, look, you have to, let's not forget what type of matches I won here, you know, I, I beat Stepanek, who who I lost to in Rome, you know, the last time we played, so that was an important win for me. Andreev was a five-setter, never played an entire five-setter on, on center court in a row, so that was always going to, always going to.